everyone, welcome to Yellow Cottage Soapery. I'm with Mackenzie and Lindsay, and we are excited to do our giveaway. We promised one at 1,000 subscribers and then again at 2,000, but because we've been so busy, we haven't had a, time, had a chance to make this video. So, well, I'm excited about what we've decided to do. I've ordered some um, sample size, they're like one ounce fragrances from Nature's Garden, and the girl, we haven't smelled these yet, so I've written down the, the fragrance description according to Nature's Garden, and we're just going to open them and I'm going to let the girls kind of say what they think it smells like, and I will read you the description and tell you what it is, and I will tell you at the end of this video what the giveaway is going to be, okay? First, we're going to start with this one, and I'll let you smell it first since you're oldest. Bubblegum. Maybe because we have gum in our mouth. Yeah, I was going to say, that's why no, I said don't it eat gum. No, it smells like bubblegum, like pink or cherry. I think it, well, cherry. I already it know what like it cherry. is. You think cherries? Mm -hmm. It just tastes really, or smells, um... Fruity? What? Es acid? Uh, Effervescent? No. Like, I don't know, it was just something with acid. Kind of. Something with acid. It smells like berries. Like, like fruit acid. It does smell like berries. Okay, this is called Pearberry. And it is a dupe of the Bath and Body Works Pearberry. And it, this is the description. And I had to write them down because some of them are really funny. Um, I don't think this one is. But it's fruity, fresh, fragrant blend of ripened pear, which is what I smell. I smell pear. Raspberry, strawberry, and gooseberries. Well, I've never had a pear, so. That's because I don't like them. I don't buy them. But that's not really fair. I should get they're I don't think you would. It's they, got a weird. They've got a weird texture to like, me. It tastes like a bitter apple. Dad used to make me try them actually. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so let me finish the description. Fruity, fresh, fragrant blend of ripened pear, raspberry, strawberry, and gooseberries with slight musk undertones. Okay. Rat number one. Try not to make a face. <laughs> well, surprise me, you shoved it right up in my nose. It kind of smells like the fresh linen, or some, or like clean oh, laundry don't soap. Don't like it? It smells like lavender. Like clean laundry soap or something? Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is bergamot and tarragon leaves, and I did look up what a bergam what bergamot is because I didn't know. And a bergamot plant produces a citrusy fruit, That's so it's got a green, like a um, earthy, un green undertones. But this is the description. This is um, truly spectacular spa-like fragrance, which I agree with, with notes of tarragon leaves, grapefruit, and lime, complemented by notes of bergamot and jasmine, well-rounded with base notes of oak moss and bamboo. That's what I meant before. I didn't mean like acid. Like Put your hand up. Something with acid. I meant like um, citrus or something. That's what you meant, citrus. Okay, that's better than acid. <laughs> but I do like this one. This is a good one. Okay. So strong. So that's number two, bergamot and tarragon leaves. All right, this is the third one. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, I want to say something with orange, but it doesn't smell like orange. Um, honey, it, it's kind of honey. No? All right, it's this is- sweet. This is baby bee buttermilk type, and whenever you see in my videos in the in the title, if I ever put type, that just means it's a dupe from someplace else, and so they can't specifically just say baby bee buttermilk because it's actually a dupe of Burt's baby bee buttermilk lotion. So when you see type after it, it just means it's a it's a dupe. Um, and this is the description. It says, a fragrance cocktail of luscious fruits such as peaches, mandarin, oranges, coconut pulp, bergamot, grapefruit, tropical guava, and tangy lemons. There. That's number three. Okay. Stop peeking. Mm -hmm. Stop peeking. No, oh, I wasn't trying to. All right, Lindsay, you can smell this one first. This was like... 
cocoa. It's kind of like, it smells sweet, but it's not all just sweet. It's like cocoa or, or like else. tea or something. Oh. No. Maybe, maybe ginger, I don't know. This is white tea and ginger, and it is a Bath and Body Works dupe. It is top notes of white tea, yuzu, lemon, bergamot, and ginger, middle notes of earl grey tea, rose, nutmeg, and geranium, sitting on base notes of woods, musk, and berries. That's a mouthful. Okay, the next one is, I almost told you. Well, because he's not peeking. I'm not trying to peek, I'm just looking around. Guys, we're filming. It's not the time to argue. It smells like nut. Like mm -mm. Nut. Ooh, I don't like this. It's kind of like... <laughs> it, I want to say like whenever um, you get like your wood finish or something. Like, Wait, that, that, like, like that kind of... It smells like... Like that wood kind polish. of smell, but it's not just wood. Like polish? Like now? Oh, like furniture polish? Oh, maybe. It just reminds me of like when you get your floor done with tile. Chamomile, chamomile, chamomile. Oh, chamomile, chamomile. I must say chamomile. Okay, Shh. chamomile. This is mm. a really bland description. All it said is the aroma of freshly picked chamomile flowers with hints of fresh green herbs. To me, it's very um, herbally, floral, dried florally. Chamomile is supposed to be calming and relaxing, so maybe it tones down once it gets in the soap. But don't take our fragrance descriptions, because obviously we all like different things. So don't take what we say. I mean, you may love it. It's just, I guess, our initial opinion. And we're kind of honest, so... What? Why do these keep doing that? Is it like the Ooh, seal? I like that one. Mm. It smells like, Lindsay it like, smells like the um, Hubba Bubba gum, the watermelon. Yeah, it really does. Wait, let me smell like Yeah, that smells numb on yummy, yummy. It smells like berries all the way. Okay, this is black Blackberry Fizz. It's fruity notes, newts, fruity notes of blackberry, mm. strawberry, and pomegranate. Citrus notes of mandarin, grapefruit, and lime with base notes of bamboo. Okay, so that's Blackberry Fizz. All right, this next one, you can tell what that is, is without... This, mm -mm. Did you get all the new ones? Or did you uh, yeah, I just ordered a bunch of these for the giveaway. It smells familiar, but I can't put my hand... I never I used um, baby powder. Uh, this what, is baby me, powder. Oh. oh. I never used it on you guys when you were kids because the talc, you shouldn't breathe in. I just really you never used it. it. You want to waft? No. <laughs> no, I was kidding. Okay, this is um, ba Baby Powder Fabuloso type, and it is a dupe of the Fabuloso Baby Powder. I don't know really what that is, but um, it is fresh citrus notes unfold <coughs> to reveal an innocent floral bouquet, blooming lilac, sweet jasmine, wild rose, and freshly balanced with hit hints of spice. Fresh green accents boost the floral sea while a background of soft sandalwood adds a luxurious touch. Powdery sweet base notes carry the bouquet to a soft finish. So wait, baby powder's being compared to a bouquet? A bouquet of those flowers. Floral like sea. Happiness. What? Did you look? I didn't look. my main goal in life just to peek, Mom. Don't be smart. No, yeah, I can't tell if I'm smelling your lotion or this. It smells like your lotion or something you would wear. I don't have lotion on. <laughs> well, I thought, oh, I do, well, but I thought you were wearing scented. lotion, so it must be something similar to what you wear. Kind of like. I don't know, it kind of smells clean. What'd you think? Does it kind of smell like something one of mom's lotion? It smells like shea butter. No, it doesn't. Yes, it no, does. No, it smells like a weird version of shea butter then. No, but. you guys are way off. Okay, this is sea salt and lotus blossom. It smells like your shea butter. I, well, it smells I like something you wear you. then. You don't wear anything similar? No. Okay. I smell like a grandma. Yours or mine? Mine. Oh, okay. Scent of fresh air, sea salt, ocean mist, and aquatic florals which come together to create a sexy, Modern twist of this fresh and clean fragrance, complete with tender notes of beachy musk. I was worried about the clean part. And that you were. Sea salt and lotus blossom. Okay, two more. I wrote all these down. I felt like I was back in school taking notes. I love writing, anyway. 
You, you would love Mr. Chapel's class. I would love to just take classes so I can just take notes. What was it, like 90 minutes of just note, straight note taking? Mm -hmm. It smells sweet. Like, Ugh. I know what that smells what? like, I just can't think of what it, it is. It smells like outside. It's delightful. I know what it is. I, oh, I just can't. It I know like what it is. I just can't think of what it's called. Why do I? I know that smell somewhere. It's Bamboo like and white grapefruit. But, but that's not what it smells like. It to has me. orangey, orangey. It has it an orange like picture outside. with the bamboo on there. Or no, I guess it's supposed to be a grapefruit looking, but it's it does have orange notes in it. I'm sure. Okay, fresh complex. Complex fragrance begins with top notes of white grapefruit, pedigree, and tangerine. That's what you smell. Leading to middle notes of mandarin, tangerine, and mimosa petals, balanced with base notes of rainforest, bamboo, juniper berries, and musk. Yay. All right, last one. And this one is, you have to get this one. Have to? Did you already smell all these? Ginger? Mm -hmm. No, pancakes. Coffee. Yes, coffee. It smells like a pancake to this me. This is fresh brewed coffee, the world's best. And it just says wonderful effort. Like wonderful effervescent coffee top notes. All of, none of these discolor in soap. This one will discover, discolor to a beige. So, and the reason that I'm telling you that is because what the giveaway is going to be is as follows. Um, this is going to be open to anyone in the U.S., international, anyone can enter. All you need to do is give us a thumbs up for the video if you liked our video and comment down below which fragrance you would choose. And then if your name is drawn, I will use the fragrance and I will make you your own custom one pound loaf of soap and you get to pick the colors that go into it and you get to pick a design if you would like or you could leave that up to me it's completely your choice I will prop I have two of each of these bottles and one ounce generally um, will goes into one pound so I will make one custom loaf for you and the other I will probably I think it may it'll make four bars the other I'll have four bars to sell so that is what the winner is going to get is their own custom loaf of soap Pick chosen out of um, one of these 10 fragrances. So like I said, all you need to do, I will leave all of the fragrances, probably not the descriptions because that'll just take too much time, but I will leave all the fragrances listed in the description box below and you just need to comment which one you would choose if you are chosen. And then we this, the giveaway will start tonight. Today is March 17th. I will upload this video tonight. And it will end one week and one day away. So it, uh, it will end on March 25th at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 9 p.m. at night. And then we will, we will draw the winner and we will make a video announcing the winner. And then I will contact the winner and you can at that time let me know what you choose and what your colors that you would like and I will make your soap on video and then when it's cured I will mail it to you. So yay! Alright guys, thank you so much everyone for supporting our channel and for being patient with us during the move. We're still trying to get settled. It's a work in progress but I'm so glad to be back making videos. I've missed all of you and I will catch you on the next video. Bye. Okay, go to it.